My name is Gary Ormiston. I'm a photographer from Pottery Bank, Walker, and I shoot landscapes and cityscapes. So an average day for me would be, if I was off, I would get my gear and then I would just, from where I live, you can walk from Maine to the Quayside in about 40 minutes. So I walk from there and then I'll walk along the Quayside and then I'll just start from Millennium Bridge and then I'll, depend on where, like if, I, if I'm over a sunset, I'll just follow the sun where it's going. So I'll Millennium Bridge, and then I'll probably head up towards the Tyne Bridge and then onto the High Level Bridge, and then just get photos from that point. Everywhere I go, I always make sure I've got like a flare, just, just someone coming up. And people always ask us like, oh yeah, they, like, do you just put them in? Like, and I'm like, no. It's because like the lens that I use, the, the, the IRX 50 millimeter, I don't know why, but it's just uh, every time I just, I get that angle and it just gives off a nice flare. Man. <laughs> How it started was, um, I mean, I was always into like, proper cliche, but I was always into like cameras and photos and things like that. And I was always like taking pictures and stuff. Like, I mean, I remember like, um, my mum and father would take us on holiday. My father would always have like the latest camera. So I'd always be like messing about with that. And then um, it wasn't until I went to, I went to New York and uh, I had like a, a Sony like cyber shot, literally about that big. And it had like a, a slide down and then the lens was in there. And um, I remember just going around New York, just looking up and just seeing all the, obviously all the skyscrapers and things like that. And uh, yeah, just, just snapping everything I could, everything I could see, I was just snapping. But then even like street stuff, like I would see people, you know, like in New York, you'd see people just like, uh, like old blokes or hat, like, you know, like uh, fedoras on and things like that. So I'd just be like snapping them. And uh, yeah, I got really got, really got into it. And when I got back, I was like, oh, well, I'll get a camera. And, uh, and then I had it, <laughs> and then I had it, um, I had a break up, so I was just like, oh, well, I need to sort of get over that and went to August and uh, got myself a, a Nikon D3200 and uh, the kit lens, like pretty much every amateur does, I think. And uh, just went around taking photos of everything, just like you see, you know, and uh, I remember just, I was like, right, I need to sort of start just focusing on one, one, one thing. So I started going to like, um, the groups like uh, Newcastle Visuals, NCL Collective, just going around there and just talking to people, socialising and then uh, getting getting like ideas and stuff like that. And then I remember just one day I was like, oh, I need to kind of like shoot shoot a sunrise or something like that and see what happens. And I remember going down to Colour Court and uh, I've still got like hanging up. It's like the, the best like one one of my favourite photos I've got. And uh, it's just the waves coming over the pier. And I mean, I was, just, I was just waiting there for ages, just for like the waves just to just come crashing over. And uh, I snapped it and it was class. And uh, I've got to hang on it. That, that, that's what I've that sort of started doing now. Just the coast, sunrise, sunsets, and then just focusing on cities as well. For, for me as well, sometimes when I'm, when I'm walking around Newcastle especially, I only like to have like maybe one or two people in me, in me shot. Um, Cause I, I'm sort of like, I like, like doing like that sort of cinematic style as well. Um, and I remember for like, like you say, waiting for ages. I remember like not too long ago, I was waiting on the, um, I was waiting on the Tyne Bridge and I seen this couple, just this old couple walking along hand in hand, sun was setting. And I remember two lads were behind them. And when they walked in front, I just start, just start shooting. And it was, it, it was a perfect shot. I remember these two lads were like, where you seeing you? You're waiting and everything. And I was like, oh, I was waiting like, because it was class, but, um, it was, I, wish, I wish I knew them people as well. I, I wanted to go up and, and say, look, hey, this is what I've got, you know, but um, by the time they got all the way to you, I was walking the other way, so. <laughs> when you shoot with someone, you pick up other things. So like someone will shoot, I don't know, over that way somewhere and you'll be doing your thing, then you'll go, oh, well, but you don't want to get that same shot that you've got because then they're like, what, like, what's the point? Do you know what I mean? But I think if you shoot with someone, they'll always bring something out better on you, you'll be like, oh, right, well, let's, let, you know, let's do that. And they will be like, oh, well, what if we go over this way? And, and you, you would never think, you know, I, I might not think about that, but then they do. So uh, there's that aspect of it, but then uh, sometimes I just like put my headphones in and just on my own, and I, that's sort of when I get my best work done. <laughs> when I started um, Reels on Instagram, when I started like sort of picking up that, uh, that trend, that's, that's how I would listen to a song, and then I would just think, oh, well, 
this is what this is what's going to go with me reel today um and that's how i started that um i think i've done like maybe 20 reels or something new then uh i think it just get it gets harder and harder because you know you see everyone doing something totally different and it's just like me and technology just we didn't agree <laughs> they pick up a camera and that's it to shoot and the, let's go but you can't escape from it so you, you look through instagram to get ideas but then you'll you'll go out and you'll just be like oh well you know this shot's be like i remember for a long time i was sick of taking photos of the time bridge millennium bridge swing bridge all of them i was sick of it because how many times can you take like, the same photo um so i remember just having a look around and I'm, 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 I, I, it was when i first started really i was like oh, well, I'm, I'm doing the same thing i made mean, a long long exposure in the river well, i'm just taking pictures of the river tying it and, and i was like what, what can i do so i remember just going down to london and uh, it just opened up a different sort of different world if you if you would and i was just like oh well this is class just skyscrapers streets everything and uh, obviously when i start going down more regularly like i met some people down there so i was just like going down staying with people i would like i'll go down on my own i'd be like, oh well I know the place, like the back of my hand now, so I'd go, back, go down on my own, wake up, get out of the hotel, wake up at like five in the morning, shoot the Tower Bridge at, uh, on sunrise and just on my own and just, it was class. And then just obviously just getting the original shot. So I would see something on Instagram and I'd be like, oh, well, that's, that's class, but what have you done it from this angle? Or what have you done it like, you know, further up? It would look sick. So that's the sort of how I, sort of uh, get me inspiration. So I remember just getting me, um, my first camera, and I remember there was, there was two lads that showed us what I did. There was a kid called Andy Kelly and a, a, kid, uh, a bloke called Kev Voidel. And uh, they, they showed us, like, they just showed, because on the back, when you first see a DSLR camera, I mean, I didn't know what was going on. I was like, hell. And uh, I remember they were showing us bits and bobs, like, oh, you've got to use, you know, this setting to get, that and this to do that. I remember uh, my friend Andy just took us out and he was like, hey, we'll go along the quayside and then um, I'll show you how to do long exposure. And then that was it. I was like, my mind was blown. I was like, yeah, that train looks class, like, you know, going across the bridge and that. And uh, ever since then, I was just like, I'd, I'd go on YouTube or I'd go on, um, obviously, this Instagram and you would just look at like tips and stuff like that to help you and videos and stuff like that. And you would just, that's all I would do. I would just watch videos and just be like, oh, well, all right. And so if I do it like that, and all right. And then I just go out and, and shoot. <laughs> and self talk <laughs> Obviously going from like my Sony little cyber shot thing, it, it, it was touch screen on the back, so it was, it was dead helpful. But like getting this DSLR, I was just like, yeah, what, like, what do you do? How do you get it to work? <laughs> <laughs> How do I get it to make all them pictures that I've seen? How do I do it? Uh, uh, like, if it wasn't for them two, then I wouldn't, like, obviously, I'd just be like, I'd still be trying to figure out work, how to work. <laughs> Wait, so, at the minute, at the minute, my favourite spot is um, the Tyne Bridge. Um, through lockdown, I've done so many photos on there, stand in the, would stand in the middle, getting on the side of the, um, the, high le uh, the, high le the high level bridge and the swing bridge getting the sunsets from there. That's probably one of my favorite spots at the minute. There's been a few, so like, last time, oh, during lockdown, like me and my mate were up there, and I've always, like, I've always wanted to get, like, like start shooting like BMX and things like that. So I was, and I was telling him, and uh, I, I want to get like, it looks, it looks sick like, you know, like, um, sort of where the hard rock is, getting someone doing like, a, like, a, like a, just like a bunny hop or something, like a silhouette of that on the sunrise. Like, that's what I sort of want. Anyway, we're on the we're on the, uh, the, the top of the Tyne Bridge, and uh, we're walking. We're just going for a walk, and then uh, I was going for a sunset, and we may clock these BMXs on the other side of the road, coming along, and uh, <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, uh, that's what you want, isn't it?" I was like, "Oh, me, DNC and now DNC and now." And one of the kids, you know, obviously, oh, take a picture of me, mate. And we pal that was with us. He, uh, he said. Well, I do you jump in. <laughs> I was, mate, what are you doing? He went, oh, he will, he will, he will. He, look at, 
and he, and he thought one, and I, I was like, oh, well, you didn't give us enough time. So they went, did you get it? No. Nah. <laughs> he, yeah, uh, the kid, oh, bless him, he come around, he went, did you not get it? I went, nah. Gans back, comes along, I went, right now, bosh. Got the two of them, but he didn't jump, he just gave us the old thumbs up. I was like, oh, that, that, that'll do for me, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, it's still, it's still one of the shots I want to get. Uh, there's a few BMX shots, like across the, uh, across the time bridge, it looks sick. I got one, like, um, randomly. Um, I was up in the car park of uh, Ellen Garden, just getting the rain. It was St. James's Park, and it was, it, was, it was moody as hell. And uh, I, come back, I was walking back to go out, and all of a sudden, like, just randomly, this BMX, I was just like, you went, you all right, man? I was like, aye. I says, yeah. You couldn't do, he's like, a, a little jump just in front of St. James's, could you? He was like, why I? So he just went round. After about, uh, maybe four, four, four goals of it, we got, like, got the shot, and it was, uh, that was sick. And, but that was just random as hell. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> my gear that I use, uh, I remember, so when I first moved, when I, when I moved on to using full frame, um, the same mate that actually, Andy, that taught us about a camera, I met him for a uh, dinner one night and he was, uh, he was talking about um, getting a new lens and he was like, oh, so if you like wide, wide angles, I suggest getting like a um, Irix lens, like a new company that's just starting up. Um, yeah, if you like wide angles, grab, like, have a look at one of them. The, 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 the reason be cheap. And um, so he, I remember well, going to do a wind, so I was just like, well, I need to, I need to get like a, a wider lens because I was only using a 50 millimetre at the time. Um, so I got that and uh, I remember just everything just opened up. So I was just like, oh yeah, this, this is class, like wide angle, everything. Even portraits, like people, people were like funny about this with that. They were like, "Oh, you want you shoot portraits on a wide angle?" I was like, "Yeah, why not? Like, why not? Like, I, I don't think any like, like, I don't know. Like, everyone's oh, well, I always use a fifty mil or or more." And I'm like, "Well, yeah, why? Like, just yeah, use Irix for um, pretty much everything." And then it wasn't <clears throat> wasn't until last last year a, a guy called Christian got in contact with us, and he was like, "Oh, do you want to?" Do you want to be an, uh, an ambassador for the brand? I was like, aye, nah, sure. And he, uh, at the minute, he sent us out a 30 millimetre to test out for him. And so I'm using that at the minute as well. When I, when I, when I went down to London, I used to go to like, these sneaker events. And uh, I remember taking down my me, me kit lens and my me, me kit camera, and I was going around and taking pictures and stuff. And I remember um, this lad, I mean, didn't know him at all. But I was out in, the, in this backyard, having a few beers with my mates, and uh, so I was taking some photos of these trainers, and uh, this guy just shouted at me, ah, what are you doing? And I was like, is he talking to me? Or? And I thought he was talking to one of my mates, you know? He come out and he just, he went, I'm sick of seeing you using that lens. He said, yeah. Honestly, like, he just threw the lens at us. I'm like, what's that? He went, I'm sick of watching you with that kit lens. So take it off, put that on. And again, it just, so it opened, opened the world up, you know, I was just like, yeah, like, yeah what am I doing? Yeah, and just getting down, taking photos of trainers and things like that, and aye, just opened up another, opened up another sort of uh, avenue of uh, photos, and aye, nifty 50, yeah, get on me 50. I was like, all right, wicked. <laughs> but yeah, I got loads of, loads of class photos from that, and then when I got home, I was like, right, yeah, I need to get that, and then I got that, and then I bought me um full frame and that's all I had at the time and then my pal suggested oh get the Irix and uh, yeah haven't looked back since. Irix and me 50 mil that's all I use. <laughs>